Okay, hello you guys, welcome to this video. Um, so my parents just came to my house. They brought a bunch of food and it's really late at night. They're gonna help me like set up some light stuff and they're also visiting. And then tomorrow we are gonna go to um, this annual cactus sale for this shop called Hot Cactus. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Well, actually the shop is called Cactus Store, but their Instagram is Hot Cactus LA. Here's my mom keeping watch of Theo. <laughs> There's Chris bringing stuff in. It's been a while since they've seen you, Mom. <laughs> Hi! Oh, hello! Happy to see me! Ah, are you happy? Do you want to say hi to the people? Hi, people. Yeah. <laughs> You're making your appearance again since right. the Vietnam videos. It's the following day and my dad is helping me put up some light fixtures. He's an electrician, so I'm lucky to have him be able to help me with this kind of stuff. The first one he's gonna put up is this grow light. Hello guys, so my dad is helping me put the track light system right here, um, the grow light, that way I can give light to my aquarium and then maybe some plants over here. If I add the track light here, then I won't have to use my own aquarium light. It's a plug-in. Um, and I think that might be kind of nice just because it's difficult to find an aquarium light that isn't super expensive that can hang above it. And I think it would also look nicer to just have like a track light up there that gives light down there. So we're gonna move this light over here and then the track light will be right above there. Oh, well, it's really dark. The track light is almost finished. Ooh, that's perfect. Should we do this for? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's working pretty well to light my aquarium. And I think this is all the aquarium needs because I'm not really gonna use CO2 anymore and it still gets some sunlight. So I think this is like the perfect amount of light for it. Let's take a quick break to thank the sponsor of this video, Soltec. So you guys know how much I like my Soltec lights. They've been a sponsor of my channel for over a year now, I think, which is pretty cool. If you don't already know, Soltec makes really amazing grow lights. So they have like a track light system, which I just installed, or I didn't install it, my dad installed it. They also have grow light bulbs that you can screw into lamps, like a desk lamp or a floor lamp. And then they also have lights that you can hang from the ceiling that are plug-in, or you could hardwire them. The light itself, like the light body looks really nice. And then the light that it emits is a really nice warm tone. So I use them also just like throughout the day as lights to light up my house because they kind of just look like regular lights, but they add supplemental light that your plants can use to grow. And you can use my code Benji15 for 15% off and I'll put a link to them in the description. And yeah, so thank you Soltech for sponsoring this video. Four times. It works like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Let's go to the cactus store. Yeah. Yeah, they call them like a stone, a stone plant. Oh yeah, they look like stone. We have some ceramic stuff over here. They have not your house here. Hello. I made it. <laughs> it's a beautiful space. That's yeah. where they film, of, like photograph all their merch. Oh, here. Yeah, behind the scenes. Oh, this looks gross. It's like so skinny. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking of getting these two pots. One's a hanging one. Oh, this one's like a weird fluted one. And then my dad and has this. And then my can pay for it. Uh, okay, I can. And they have yeah. a It's a nice flower. Look at this one. Would it? You think that's gonna be good? That looks cool. It looks cool. I think cool, huh? it's fine. What are you gonna do with that? Uh, one hand. Medusa. Like a we'll call Medusa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of excited for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let Benji us know. Show you. 
Let's no, see when you have an opening. Okay. Next week, when you guys visit, come to the opening. Yeah. June, uh, July, June 15th. Okay. 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 The house new business opening June 15th downtown. It's called 1010. Are we gonna have a party? Yeah. Okay. Like a karaoke party. This is our hall. Got a lot of stuff. Now we're on our way to go pick up this uh, fishbone cactus that I found on Facebook Marketplace. You guys, we just picked up the plants and we got so many. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. He had a ton of like cactus, succulents, ripsalis, and other things, and they're all really cheap. That's why I like Facebook Marketplace for plants because you can find like a lot of cool older plants that you can't really find in nurseries. Um, like plants that have aged and look interesting because they're so old. Mom, how do you feel about your plants? Do you like them? Yeah, I like them. <laughs> I'm excited. These are all of my mom's cactus and my dad's cactus. These are the free they're ones. They're not cactus, but it's like cactus. This, this is a cucumber. It's called a cucumber. Apparently this is a cucumber. I, th I thought he said pickle. Well, pickle? cucumber, cucumber, pickle. pickle. Granny dad can pickle. <laughs> <laughs> look at this cactus. Mm -hmm. So pretty. She has a big pot. I got this pot from the cactus store pop up. So I'm gonna put this pot in this pot. Look at that. Okay, this isn't its permanent place, but it looks pretty cool. I love this plant. Also, yeah, I'm gonna move it for finished eating and now my dad's walking around the garden. Nice, huh? That, that, that oak tree? Yeah. The same one up there? I think so. The the giant, yeah, it's a too. giant oak tree. There's this big jade plant just sitting in our garden over here. Um, hey, look at it. My dad's gonna take it home. This one was just uprooted and my landlord said that we can just do whatever we want with it so my dad's gonna take it. Chris is getting his hair cut. I'm gonna get my hair cut next. Just got my hair cut. I'm gonna go get in the shower to wash all this hair off. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Chris's hair cut. Just finished showering. Ooh, and my dad is gonna replace this fan for me and then put in this big light that I found on Etsy. Um, it's a George Nelson bubble lamp, but I got it for a really good price. Mm -hmm. Theo's just sleeping with my mom. So cute. And my dad's putting up the light. Ooh, it looks so good. And we're gonna put this mirror up, I think, right there. The mirror doesn't really work in the living room because the fireplace isn't centered. It's kind of weird. Um, so I think I'm gonna put like or work there, maybe some plants or something, or like a little shelf. Um, but instead, we're gonna put the mirror in the dining room. There's this wall here, and then it'll reflect this area, which is pretty nice, like plants and stuff. Um, and we'll also open up this room, I think. Um, while my dad is putting up the mirror, I wanna show you guys this. I got this hanging pot from the uh, cactus store, and then I just put this philodendron in here for now. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. Oh, yeah, it looks so good. Yeah. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. guys. Bye-bye. I love how this mirror looks here. It, like, reflects such a, such a nice area. I'm gonna try and rotate this table because I got a lot of comments saying to rotate it and I was like, oh, it's actually a really good idea. But first, I just need to find a place to put my fish tank so that I can move the table. Yep. It's been a few days since I last recorded and my parents are gone now. It is the morning. Um, today is Thursday. Chris and I, we moved this table out here and then this bench. It used to be over by the garage and I decided I really wanted a table here and because the other table that we had here didn't have a glass top, I wasn't able to use it. But now that we have this, it's, it's really nice. This morning I was editing and doing some work out here. Also, check out our garden. It's looking pretty good. Some things are alive, which is the most important part. And everything seems to still be growing. 
um, even after being transplanted. I'm super excited about how this is gonna look in maybe about a month when everything's blooming. Um, also, there's construction going on across the street, but I'm just gonna keep talking. I really like growing native plants because I feel like it's almost like a challenge to find native plants that work in the area that you want them to be. And then there are also a ton of native plant nurseries here in the Los Angeles area. I just picked up this fern yesterday from this store called Plant Material. And it's a na sorry, I'm crouching weird. Um, and it's a native California fern and it's called a giant chain fern. I'm planning to put it in this area since this is very shaded. Um, and yeah, I think it's gonna look really nice here. Okay, we've gone inside now to escape the sound of the construction. I feel like I didn't do a good job of showing you guys the plants that we got from Facebook Marketplace um, earlier in the vlog. So I'm gonna show those to you guys right now. So first is this Ripsalis. The guy that we got the plants from, he's really into jungle cactus. Um, I believe Ripsalis is a jungle cactus. And look how cool this looks. And I think this one was like only $10. I just stuck this one in this pot for now, like on top, because otherwise um, the plant tips over. But this is a Ripsalis paradoxa. And it's just so cool. I think this was $10 too. Also check out the light. This light looks so good here. And it's a much better light at night than the fan was. This one just like glows better and distributes the light a lot nicer. I just put the stack in fern here. At first I put art here, but then because it's so close to the window, the glass of the art frame um, like reflected too much and then it was hard to see the art in the first place. Also, I got this um, sofa from Facebook Marketplace. It is a, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Um, they make the Togo sofa and this is from the same brand and normally it retails for like $5,000, but someone was selling it on Facebook Marketplace for $400. I felt like this table was a little bit redundant because we have a table in the dining room and we needed another place for people to sleep when they visit. So like when my family visits, someone always has to sleep on the couch or on the floor. And this actually opens up as like a queen size bed and it's super, super comfy. Um, that was me trying to show you guys that it's comfortable, but I don't know how well that came off on camera. <laughs> and yeah, I really like this thing. Normally I wouldn't get something with fabric from Facebook Marketplace, but this was like a really good deal. And then um, it was like barely used too. I'm gonna sell this table on Facebook Marketplace. And also I feel like the couch might look kind of awkward right now, but I think once we arrange this bookshelf and then I don't know, just like move this, it will make more sense. Hello, Mr. Theo. Hello, Mr. Theo. This is my hat. I'm trying to show them my hat. Okay, also at the nursery called Plant Material that we went to, um, I got this hat for gardening. Like it protects your neck, which is really important. And it can like, clip on the front. Theo. Okay, Theo, chill. One second. Um, but yeah, this is nice. Good neck protection. I feel like I'm showing you guys just like a bunch of random different stuff, but it's because I made a list of all the stuff that I needed to like update you guys on. So I'm just going, going down the list. So I am going to Coachella tomorrow, uh, Coachella weekend two. I haven't been to Coachella before and I didn't think I'd want to really go to Coachella, but a lot of my friends are going and I want to see, well, I wanted to see Frank Ocean. I mainly wanted to go because of Frank Ocean, but um, he dropped out of weekend two, so yeah, but that's okay. But I also want to see Blackpink, Charlie XCX, Ethel Kane, Gorillaz, Sunset Roller Coaster, Willow, and Yeji. I wanted to show you guys my outfits that I'm going to wear for Coachella. Uh, normally, I wouldn't really like dress up, but I felt like dressing up this year because my friends that are going were talking about what outfits they're going to wear. I asked my friends, Charlie and Tyler, to help me have cool outfits for Coachella because I know they have a lot of fun clothes. A lot of my clothes is nice, but it's like boring um, for a festival. So yeah, I got a lot of clothes and accessories from them. So I am gonna give you guys a little fashion show of what I'm gonna wear. I also didn't wanna spend money on clothes that I would only wear like one time. Here is 
the outfit. <laughs> I'm doing a voiceover because I didn't end up wearing the jacket. It was just way too hot, like a little bit hotter than I expected. And the jacket just had to go. Um, they're kind of fun. I don't know, Chris was saying I look like Tracer from Overwatch. If you guys know who she is. I ended up not wearing this long blue shirt because it was just way too hot, so I wore a black tank top instead. Okay, also you guys, this is kind of random, but a skunk, I think, just skunked outside. And I'm just starting to smell it now, and it's making it difficult uh, to do this voiceover. Here is my last outfit. It's definitely different for me. Like, I normally wouldn't wear um, something like this. But, I don't know, it's kind of fun for Coachella. I had a really good time at Coachella. These are some of my closest friends from college. And I also met a viewer while waiting for Blackpink. So hi, Hannah, if you're watching this. That is all for this vlog. I'm not gonna record at Coachella, um, but I might have some pictures that I can put in this video. And yeah, okay, so thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video and goodbye.